everyone, Erin here again today, and I wanted to show you um, a fun new project I'm going to make using the Macon's Clay. We're going to use the black clay this time, the Macon's Clay Roller to help roll it out, and the Macon's Clay Texture Sheet, and this one is the Weave Texture. And what I'm going to make is a little hat, and it's going to fit over top of these boxes, and it's for my husband's graduation. It's going to be kind of a... Uh, a centerpiece for one of the things we're going to eat this weekend. So I'm pulling apart two of the different boxes and it's kind of mimicking what a um, like a cake would be and I'm going to cover these up and I got to fill in the gap and this is going to be a part two video. Part one we're going to make the little hat and part two we're going to make the base that the hat is going to sit on. So the first stage that we're going to do is to pull out some of our clay and I always have my little water bottle handy and a paper towel handy, which I have right here. So whatever clay I'm not using, I'm gonna keep damp because this is an air dry clay. You have to be careful that you don't, um, sorry, I'm getting it unstuck here. You don't leave it out in the open for too long because it will end up getting, you see my little daughter's hands, here she is, say hi. <laughs> uh, it will air dry on you. So if you're not using it, cover it up, put it away. So I'm actually gonna put this away, I'm gonna spray it and put it back in my Ziploc bag. All right, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna split this into two pieces. So one is gonna be for the top of the mortar board, so we're gonna make it a square, and the other one is gonna be for the base, which is we're gonna turn into kind of like a circle. So again, I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel, and I'm going to get it damp, and I'm gonna lay it over top of the piece I'm not using. So for the first part is we're gonna roll out, I'm just gonna kind of tuck this back, we're gonna roll out a nice even square. I'm just checking to see, so I'm kind of picturing, and this is where these little, the lines on here are. So if I was gonna cut a square, and I can use the Macon's Clay, one of their other um, standard tools. This one's got a roller, and it's just a straight edge roller. And this is like a, what I would call a pizza roller, but it's just a rolling, as you saw me do it. And so, let's see if this is big enough. I'm just, oops using my guide and cutting right along the edge. Whatever pieces I'm not going to use, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it under here. take the Macon's Clay texture sheet and the weave and I'm going to press it and I just want to give it a little bit of texture because you know looking at my husband's cap he has and it's this is for his graduation he's getting his masters it's kind of a satin but it has a texture to it so I'm gonna add the texture and I'm just gonna go diagonally I'm just gonna press it in it doesn't have to be super no, I'm actually gonna do this there we go look and now it's got a little texture to it pretty fun I'm going to hold this up so you can see. Be careful I don't ruin the square because I did push down. Be careful as you lift it up. I want it to remain a square. Now you can see it's got a little bit of a texture to it. See? It's pretty cool. My daughter's off here in the corner. I gave her a little piece of pink clay and she's having a blast with it. All right, so this part is done. I'm just going to lift this off to the side. Um, I will be coming referring back to it because I got to make the base for the hat. Now the other thing that I need to do for the hat is it's got a little tassel that's going to hang down. Um, do is I'm going to use real ribbon and I'm going to get that out shortly. And my husband is school colors are white and burnt orange. Yay! <laughs> it's okay. Not my favorite colors in the world, but that's what the color, school colors are. So. Um, I'm just going to find the closest I can to those kinds of colors in some sort of twine. So I'm just creating the little knock. I'm just kind of going, the little button that kind of holds it in. And I'm not going to put this on yet because I'm going to leave, this would go right here. I got to attach the ribbon first and I'm going to glue that and then I'm going to glue this little piece on top. So I'm just going to let it dry separately. Go. Okay, so now we're going to go on to 
the bottom of the cap part that would actually fit on your head. And I'm not going to do anything more fancy. Use that hand. Use the roller. Um, I'm going to use the whole thing. Might as well. You know, it's because I have not done anything to the black. It's just stayed black. We can easily um, use this. I can add it back to my original stash because I haven't altered the clay in any way. So this is going to be just a long rectangle that I'm going to cut and then I'm going to roll it into itself. And I don't want to get it too thin because I need it to be able to be stable. Mm -hmm. Now you can use it. Sorry, my daughter keeps asking if she can use the tool. Okay, so I'm going to go this way with it. And I can't have it be... I think I'm gonna go three. So let me clean this guy up right here. Let me clean this up. First, I gotta make sure it rolls. Get the end. Very indecisive here. I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges. So if I need to re-roll this to make it fit better, I can. So what it's basically gonna do is it's gonna come around it's going to squish back on itself and I'm kind of seeing if this is a big enough Wait a minute. yeah and that fits fine I'm just seeing does the base make sense to the rest of the cap and it does it makes perfect sense and I like the way right now that this is angled down because then the cap won't, it'll fit at an angle like it's your head like that and that's what I kind of want so I'm not gonna mess with this side but I am going to, it's too, it's too tall. I'm gonna cut the bottom. Add the texture to this as well. So here we go. Use a little roller. Just add the texture to the clay. Whoops, stuck to the texture this time. And there it is just a little hint of something. Let me hold it up so you can see it again. It's a little hint of something. So there it is. Not much, but it's just gonna add something to it. it. Makes it look like it's doing something. I'm gonna take the clay pieces and I'm just gonna mesh it into itself so all of a sudden it looks like it's one piece. Tuck in the back. And I'm gonna let this dry like this. And then I'm gonna glue these two pieces together. So because I really don't want to smush anything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of tacky glue right now. So I'm just going to use a, a three-in-one glue to, to bind this to this, and I'm going to let them dry together. And there is our little hat. And then keep this nice and level. And then this is just going to, there's my daughter again. This is going to air dry over here with our little dot. Which I'm going to kind of flatten out a little bit. And they won't take too terribly long, maybe an hour or two to dry. Um, definitely overnight before I really did anything major to it. But in the meantime, let's make the tassel. And I'm going to put this clay away so it doesn't dry out on me. All right, so while the hat is drying, we're going to start working on the tassel. Now, again, my husband is working with a school whose school colors are white and burnt orange. So I found a candy corn glimmer mist, and I'm just taking a little bit. I'm probably going to use a little bit more. I tested one to see how I like the color. And where is the end? Here it is. Need to make sure I don't get my hands all gross. Whoops, I need to cut that. And then I'm gonna have to measure the length to see how much. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, whoops, take a bunch of, I wanna keep this one nice and white and so move it off to the side. Take a bunch, spray it on here, and then just start smooshing it around and really getting all the colors in there. So they are done. And they got a little stiff and that's okay. Just kind of play with them a little bit and it gets the unstiffness. All right, so I have my little hat and I went through and I measured one of the white ones just to see how it would hang. And I like the length of that. So I think that's a pretty good length. So I'll let these continue air drying. And I think I'm gonna do like three and three, so it's not too many. And I'm just gonna measure them all.
Inevitably, I thought I was recording, and of course I wasn't. So basically, I was kind of running down what I just did. Very simple. I took the tassel, added a little dot of glue, added the tassel, and then I put the little black bead on top of that. So now this just needs to sit and dry, but I'll kind of give you a little rundown. It's not 100% dry yet, but here is our little mortar board. Very cute. I want to make sure the bottom is nice and round and the hat is nice and flat and it will just air dry as a unit and it stands. So I will post some pictures of this when this finally dries. In the meantime, I'm going to start working on part two, which will go live tomorrow. So make sure you take a look at the second step of all this in the video for the base of where this is going to sit on. So thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe and talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.